Stage five of the Tour de Suisse saw riders taking on sunny skies, hot temperatures yet again, and the race would begin in Ambri in Italian-speaking Switzerland, heading further south in the region of Ticino to those roads used in the 2009 World Championships. Instead of finishing in Mendrisio like they did then, they will be finishing today in Novazzano after 190 kilometers. A classic profile for the finale, hot summer weather, but a brief respite with a start inside an ice hockey arena in Ambri. Temperatures up as high as 36 degrees, however, out on course. And on course, there have been a break of five riders down to just two, Alexander Camp and Sylvain Tillier with 50 kilometers to go. The gap over three minutes with UAE Emirates working to set up Mark Hirschi. Plenty of riders already dropped by the time they came through the finish line for the first time. Two full laps to go, and it was on the penultimate lap that Alexander Camp could no longer hack the pace. Dillier, the Swiss champion and former second-place finisher in Paris-Roubaix, was out there and this time being chased by the Ineos Grenadiers, who were without Adam Yates. He not able to start due to a COVID positive. The entire team from Yombo visma also out for the same reason. Dillier was finally caught with 14 and a half kilometers to go and another different team went to work. Israel Premier Tech trying to set up a strong looking Jakob Fulsang as they were onto the penultimate climb of the day. Michael Matthews desperately trying to hang on and then a surprise. Remco Evenepoel dropped. He'd get back for the first time, struggle the second and on the penultimate climb of the day it'll be Legnason who launched and then Fulsang who'd drive it on over the top. This would really split up the general classification group. Into four kilometers to go and Fulsang went again. Apathy behind and allowed to take a few meters. Thomas would be on the way following Vlasov and Nilsson Paulus coming across in the pink too. They'd reached the front with just under two kilometers to go. Behind them, Schachmann was on his way as well. A teammate of Vlasov and five-star riders were almost able to have a chat as they came into the final kilometer. 300 meters to go and Schachmann started to lead it out. The rest of the group getting back in contention as to lose not too much time. But the stage win to be fought out by those five riders and Vlasov winning it. Schachmann leading it out and it would be Vlasov taking another win in Switzerland. Already the winner of the Tour de Romandie earlier this season back on Swiss roads, taking a stage win and with it, the yellow leader's jersey. Over two minutes lost for Remco Evenepoel. Vlasov winning ahead of Paulus, Fulsang, Thomas and Olisi with Kors Schartner and Kung ahead of Higita, Schachmann and Reichenbach inside the top 10. Bora Hansgrohe cannot stop winning at the moment in stage races and they're leading this one. Vlasov six seconds to the good ahead of Fulsang, seven seconds back to Geraint Thomas. So a big moment for Alexander Vlasov, who seems to get better and better. A big test coming in 24 hours time. Some huge, huge climbing to be done. Two big mountain stages and a time trial remain. An uphill finish at Morsalp as they head back into German-speaking Switzerland. Stage six is 177.5 kilometers long. You're able to catch the rest of the Tour de Suisse, territory restrictions permitting on GCN+.